dropped by Jarrell Brown after sweeping through the opening round of the NCAA tournament to advance to the Super Regional, the Oregon State Beavers carried that same momentum to the MLB draft. Nick Madrigal was drafted 4th overall by the Chicago White Sox and Trevor Larnach was drafted 20th by the Minnesota Twins. If you've followed the team at all this year, it's not much of a surprise. Madrigal's star has shined bright throughout the last two seasons and it's been impossible to ignore. He burst onto the scene his sophomore year, being named the Pac-12 Player of the Year. He has a small stature at 5'7 and leads with his effort and emotions. With his size and intangibles, he's drawn draft day comparisons to Dustin Pedroia and Jose Altuve. He's extremely tough to get out, only striking out an astounding five times this season. When on base, he's just as tough, stealing 11 bases without being caught. He's listed as a second baseman but will play shortstop in the minors. This would definitely favor him with the 23-year-old Yoan Moncada being locked in at their major league level at second base for the foreseeable future. As for Larnach, his rise to stardom was more of a finger roll as opposed to Madrigal's slam dunk. Last year was his first season as a full-time starter and he hit four averages most of the team did with OK. Power numbers notching just three home runs. His .327 average this year is a slight jump, but his home run and RBI numbers are what drew heart eyes from MLB scouts. His 17 home runs are what projects him as a power bat in the lineup. He utilizes all parts of the field when hitting and has a solid arm to play either corner or field position. With his 6'4", 205-pound frame and left-handed swing, I think he compares well to Christian Yelich. You can catch these two in action again when they take on the Minnesota Gophers at home this weekend. The winner of this series will advance to the College World Series. It was a big weekend for Oregon State Baseball who won the regional and advanced to the Super Regional round of the NCAA World Series. Some news and notes from around Twitter for the baseball team, highlights, congratulations to our eight members of the Corvallis Regional All-Tournament team. The Pac-12 Conference and its television partners announced Thursday kickoff times for four games that include Oregon State. First-year head coach Jonathan Smith and the Beavers open the season sept. And at Ohio State at 9 a.m. PDT on ABC, followed by the home opener September 8th versus Southern Utah at 5 p.m. on Pac-12 Networks. The non-conference slate concludes September 15th at Nevada with a 4 p.m. kickoff available on ESPN3. The 122nd Civil War, presented by Pacific Source Health Plans, Spirit Mountain Casino, Safeway Albertsons and your local Toyota dealers, will be played Friday, November 23rd at 1 p.m. at Reeser Stadium and air on FS1. The game at Ohio State is the earliest kick for the Beavers since the 9 a.m. start September 12, 2015 at Michigan. Osu also had a 9 a.m. kick set. 10, 2011 at Wisconsin. The matchup with Ohio State marks the fourth consecutive season Osu has played a Big Ten opponent. The Big Ten returns to future Beaver schedules in 2021 and 24 with Purdue. Kickoffs for the remainder of the 2018 season will be announced 12 or 6 days in advance of the game date. Season tickets are now available for the six-game home football schedule that includes Oregon, USC, California, Washington State, Arizona and Southern Utah. For information on the benefits of being a season ticket holder or renewal incentives please access osubbyverse.com or call 541-737-2050. Follow us on social for more information on Oregon State football, follow the team's official Twitter account at twitter.com slash beaverfootball, by Facebook at facebook.com slash beaverfootball or on Instagram at instagram.com slash beaverfootball. Our mission Oregon State Athletics strives to build excellent authentic visionary student athletes go beavs. Corvallis, or... 
Oregon State and Texas Tech have signed a home-and-home -home football series contract for the 2025 and 26 seasons, Beaver Vice President and Director of Athletics Scott Barnes announced Thursday. The addition of Texas Tech continues a trend for the Beavers in scheduling non-Pac-12 conference Power 5 programs. Recent additions to the OSU schedule include Oklahoma State in 2019 and 20, and Purdue in 2021 and 24. The first game of the series with Texas Tech will be played in Lubbock, Texas September 13, 2025. The return game at Reeser Stadium will be played September 12, 2026. The games will mark the second and third meetings between the two schools in football. The only other contest was a 15-14 Texas Tech win September 26, 1959 in Lubbock. Season tickets are now available for the six-game home football schedule that includes Oregon, USC, California, Washington State, Arizona and Southern Utah. For information on the benefits of being a season ticket holder or renewal incentives please access osubiverse.com or call 541-737-2050. Follow us on social for more information on Oregon State football, follow the team's official Twitter account at twitter.com slash beaverfootball, by Facebook at facebook.com slash beaverfootball or on Instagram at instagram.com slash beaverfootball. Our mission Oregon State Athletics strives to build excellent authentic visionary student athletes. Go Beavs! Oregon State running back Ryan Nall went undrafted in last week's NFL draft but that didn't stop his NFL career from moving forward. Nall signed a free agent contract with the Chicago Bears following the NFL draft, God works his strange ways, thankful to say I'm going to be at Chicago Bears pick. Twitter.com slash R56 Wojil 33, Ryan Nall, at Rianal 34, April 28, 2018 Nall joined Dan and Nigel on Rip City Mornings and talked about a very specific reason he chose the Chicago Bears over other NFL teams. Oregon State will hold its spring football game on Saturday, April 28 at Reeser Stadium. The spring game kicks off at 1 p.m. with Oregon State baseball to follow at 3 p.m. versus Arizona State in Goss Stadium at Coleman Field. The Beavers held a two-hour practice that was open to the public on Saturday, April 14 at Mountainside High School in Beaverton as Beavs fans got their first real chance to see this year's team in action. All eyes have been on senior quarterback Jake Luton this spring. After Luton's recent injury of suffering a thoracic spine fracture four games into the 2017 season, the OSU coaching staff has been looking for ways to get Luton comfortable sliding and taking contact. The 6'7", 234-pound QB has one of the strongest arms of any OSU quarterback in recent history. Before coming to Corvallis in 2017 he threw for 3,551 yards and 40 touchdowns at Ventura College in 2016. Luton enters the 2018 season with four career games and starts for the Beavs. He has completed 83 of 135 passes attempts for 853 yards and four touchdowns in his limited OSU career. Luton along with Connor Blunt and Jack Paletto have all continued to get the majority of spring practice snaps with the quarterback competition in full swing. Oregon State football coach Jonathan Smith has told the media that he and his coaching staff do not plan to name a starting quarterback or any other starters before fall camp starts. Osu has been going through depth issues during spring practices with players recovering from injuries at the wide receiver, tight end in the secondary positions. Being thin at various positions will make this weekend's spring game a little more difficult to get a real feel and true preview of this 2018-19 squad. Brandon Cook's odd Patriots tenure is over, when the Patriots traded a first-rounder and changed to the Saints for Cook's services last offseason, Cooks was 23 and Jimmy Garoppolo was still in Foxborough. It stood to reason that the team had perhaps the two most important skill positions set up well on offense for a long time. One year later, Garoppolo is in San Francisco and Cooks, shockingly, is headed to Los Angeles.
the Pats traded Cooks to the Rams along with a sixth-round pick Tuesday for the 23rd overall pick a fourth-rounder in this month's draft. Read more at NBC Sports. Comp. Boston, Jerome Brown Oregon State's baseball team picked up right where it left off last season. Coming off of a College World Series appearance in 2017, the Beavers returned a boatload of talent. That group of players included Nick Madrigal, the Pac-12 Player of the Year. A somewhat disappointing end to the season could have allowed for a hangover effect by many teams. However, at the midway point of the year, their record sits at 21-4. My guess is there was Pedialyte given out after the loss in the College World Series or the Beavers got a hearty meal because there's no hangover. What's interesting about this team is so much of the work has been done without their star, Madrigal, who's only played six games due to a hand fracture. He was red hot before the injury, hitting .560 with two home runs. The keys to the offense now belongs to Trevor Larnach, the freshman right fielder who leads them the team with 30 RBIs and seven home runs. He should draw first-team Pac-12 considerations. Aside from his power surge, there's not much pop in the lineup as the team has a combined 10 home runs not including him. Similar to last year's team, most of their runs are manufactured by timely hitting on great batting averages across the board. With somewhat pedestrian offensive numbers, a large amount of the onus falls on the pitching staff. Luke Heimlich is back for his senior year and hasn't skipped a beat from his 2017 campaign in which he went 11-1. Currently leading the staff with a 5-0 record and his 2.01 era is best amongst the starters. The closer may be their biggest weapon on their staff. Jake Mulholland's 8 saves in 11 appearance sounds good, but his 1.54 era is far more impressive. The team is coming off a pretty rough patch losing 3-4 in their weekend series to Utah. They're home for Nevada to start the weekend head to Tucson after for a weekend series against Arizona. The series has huge Pac-12 implications as they're in a three-way tie at 6-3 for second the conference and two games behind 5-1 Stanford for the lead. Drew Eubanks is taking his talents to the NBA. The 6 feet 10 inches 250 pound junior forward announced today on his personal Twitter account that he will be foregoing his senior season at Oregon State University and will be entering the 2018 NBA draft. Picked at twitter.com slash jlone75xk, Drew Eubanks, at Drew Eubanks 12, March 30, 2018 The Oregon native from Troutdale, Oregon, played in all 32 games of his freshman season with the Beavers and earned the starting spot beginning his sophomore season. During his sophomore year, Eubanks was named Pac-12 Honorable Mention and earned Pac-12 All-Academic Honorable Recognition. He will finish out his career at Oregon State averaging 11.7 points per game, 6.6 .6 rebounds per game, and 163 total blocks. Eubanks near averaged a double-double during his sophomore season with 14.5 points per game and 8.3 rebounds per game. The Oregon State Fevers finished with a 7-11 Pac-12 conference record this season after making the NCAA March Madness Tournament Eubanks freshman year but falling in round 1 to VCU 75-67. His sophomore season showed more promise behind the sophomore sensations of Eubanks, Trace Tinkle, and Stephen Thompson Jr. The future looked bright for these three to take over the program, each earning valuable minutes as sophomores, but then an injury to Tinkle which made him miss most of the season, his redshirt year, put a lot of the load onto Eubanks and Thompson Jr. No word yet on the status of Tinkle on Thompson Jr. If they will follow in the same footsteps of Eubanks to declare for the NBA draft or stay for their senior year. After finishing 0-9 in the Pac-12 Conference, the Oregon State Fevers football team will look a bit different next season, a complete rebuild of the coaching staff, the hiring of former player Jonathan Smith to build the dam as head coach, and bringing back a familiar face to the crowd in assistant head coach Mike Riley, Osu head coach from 1997-1998, 2003-2014, the Beavers are starting this next season off from scratch.
On this National Signing Day, Beavers football have signed 11 new commits to their roster. Here is a list of their commits, this team captain and state champion is officially a Beaver. Welcome at Isaiah Tufaga. Smith December 20, 2017 Smith December 20, 2017 We are looking forward to having Ed Bosma Duke on campus. He's a smart, physical kid who loves football. Smith December 20, 2017 Welcome at Jacob Levin Good. Smith December 20, 2017 He's a leader and a physical, exciting player. Smith December 20, 2017 We're excited to welcome at Josiah underscore Irish 2-2. Smith December 20, 2017 We are happy to have an Hodgins underscore Isaac officially part of the Ed Beaver football family. He's explosive, quick off the ball, and holds his school record for career tackles. Smith December 20, 2017 We are ready to get at Kayshawn Dawkins, here to battle and compete. Smith December 20, 2017 We're excited to officially welcome it Kasser Ogers 3 to the at Beaver football family. Looking forward to getting the versatile playmaker here.